With everything we've been through, the work that we've had to do individually and as a couple, it leaves very, very little room to care whether or not Chelsea Handler has a baby. <laughs> I do not want children. I don't care about finding out, but is she really happy? Right, do I need to yeah. go stalk her at home? Yeah. Wait for the moment when she cries and be like, that's because you don't have kids. Right. This lady is miserable. I mean, she is miserable and it's written all over her face how miserable she is because she doesn't have kids. Kids ain't there to make you happy. Mm. Y'all know that. Parents know that. If my kids were the key to my happiness, I don't have any keys. Right? <laughs> how many kids do you want? Five. All right, when, when do you want kids? When I'm a grown up and high off the day, but in my stomach. Why do you want kids? Because it's fun. This what? What do you think is fun about having kids? I don't I don't have to be alone with just my husband. We were married for five years before we had kids. 11, 12, 13, eight years, babe. Was it eight years, really? Yeah, because- We were married in 2006. Six, and then we had an Amala oh. in 2014. That was eight oh years. Oh my gosh, yeah. okay, all right, okay. <laughs> Do you think you could be happy without kids? I'll be happy with, with kids. Do you think it's okay for an adult to say they never want to have kids? I go with it. I think that's fine. Okay, why? Because not my business. How many people do you know that parenting did not help? Yeah. Being a parent did not help them be better people at all. Can you be happy with zero kids? No. I don't think that any role or anything outside of us is going to guarantee any kind of righteousness or uh, purity, piety. Yeah. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. The halo, right, good angel. Right. It's not going to do that. I, I think that a lot of the depth and the growth and the love and the understanding and the wisdom I, I, in living my own life and doing the things of trying to get things from the outside to pull in and not having that work and also understanding like my caveat is I've been dealing with mental illness. Uh, I've realized that for myself, me doing, going in and cultivating the love I already have that I believe everybody's endowed with because we all have that spark, but I had to like cultivate my own love, cultivate my own empathy, all my, all the things that I want, you know, for myself, like the peace and the joy and all that. I had to go there to do that myself. That's not coming from anybody on the outside. Not, yeah, yeah. not yeah. kids, yeah. not the guardia, yeah. not, you know, not the cats. It did not matter. And I used yeah. to be so mad at myself of like, why couldn't I be grateful? How selfish I must be. I have a husband, I have kids, I have, you know, my body functions for the most part. I have a home, I have this, I have that. And yet it was the fact that it's, I could know in myself that those were not enough brought so much agony and yeah. pain and suffering and guilt and shame and all the things that, you know, um, I think a lot of us are dealing with at certain degrees, you know, in our daily lives of just yeah. the condition of living here. Right. However, once I kind of separated, like I am doing this for me because I know if I do it for me, it's going to radiate out to those I love the most. Do you think that an adult can be happy with or without kids? Yep. Why? Because I have, because family, they'll still with be, they'll still with, cause they'll still be with their family. Who, who, would, their, who would their family be if, if they don't have kids? Their husband. Anybody else? Cousins, uncles, aunties, sisters.